Hello friends, in one of my previous videos, some of us are asking how to get those patterns to use for snoot effects. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you 15 super packed snoot effect pattern right in the description for download. Please, before you download, make sure to hit that like button and at the same time, drop a like it in the comment section. And if it's your first time on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not just hitting that subscribe button, also ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Without wasting much time, let's get into Photoshop and see how you can make use of them. So we have image 1, image 2, image 3, image 4. So these are the patterns. Let's take this first one. So let's drag this and drop it onto this image. So we have to spread it like this. Not too big. Depend on, depend on your liking. Then hit OK. Then you have to hold down our control and pin this edge and drag it towards the direction like this. This is to create a little perspective. Let's just assume that the light is coming from this part. The light is coming from the right part. So you can hit OK like this. Then you go to blend mode and choose screen. Then you can see the thing is <laughs> already beautiful. So I have to select the image. Go to our selection tool. Then we can click on select subject. Photoshop has made selection for this image, but on your own, you can check if there is an error anywhere. But for this, I'm not going to check if there is an error. So I'm going to select this pattern and right click and feather with two and going to delete like once. So you can see how it's looking. Now we have to use our control D to deselect. If you check the pattern, it's very sharp and we don't want it to be that sharp. You can go to your filter, blur, then Gaussian blur. You blur it a bit like 5.6 or let's say 5.4 should be okay and hit okay here we have it so this is it this is it this is before and this is after isn't that amazing so let's go to another image let's do away with this for now and go and bring in another one so we can bring something like let's bring something like this okay let's bring in this one let's bring in this one and open it so here we have it you can see this pattern is very fine pick your move tool and drag it to another image so we are going to leave it on this image then have to expand to a particular level then you can hit ok so you can go ahead and click on the blend mode and choose screen then with this you can go to your filter blur gaussian blur then like this 5.4 is still okay so i really don't want my background to be sharper than my image so i'm going to hit okay for this 5.4 then select the image go to selection tool and select subjects for the image so as you can see photoshop has made the selection we have to make sure the pattern is selected then we'll right click and feather with two then we'll delete from the pattern not the image then you have it cleaned up then we have to use our ctrl d to deselect then if you zoom in and check you'll notice that it's just for the background so if you check now it's so beautiful so amazing if you know that this stuff is too bright for the background you can go to your opacity and reduce your opacity to your liking so we're having it at 52 percent now you can see it's okay okay that is it for that let's step on to another image we can remove this for now and go for another one then let's let's take a look at this one okay let's take a look at this one let's open it let me take it to the third image is it the second one the third one okay I'm going to use our move tool and drag it and drop it here so for this one it's just a rectangular stuff i can place it I can drag it and use it to fill the background. So as you can see, I even need to rotate. I even need to rotate, rotate to match it with the original background. So as you can see, we are good to go like this. So just hit OK. Go to blend mode and choose screen. So you can see what is happening here. It's beautiful already. We have to select the image, 
pick our selection tool and click on select subject photoshop has made the selections if you have to correct and like i said earlier if you have to make correction you can do that but for tutorial sake just have to be fast this one is a short video we have to select the pattern then right click and feather with two then hit our delete button to see that it is cleared from the front of the image we can select the pattern then go to our opacity and reduce the opacity and you can also go to your filter blur then gaussian blur to blur it a bit the level of the blurriness is okay let's click okay and you can see that this is beautiful already this is before this is after this is before this is after let's go for the last example let's remove this and go and bring another one we can just bring something like which one i'm going to use now okay let's bring this in and open it on one of these image we'll pick our move tool then drag to drop somewhere here then we can expand this can expand this to any level you see so let's just keep expanding let's keep expanding and i think it should be somehow it should be somehow like this let's not see the edge here let's not see the edge here then can hit ok then this is what we got so you have to go to your blend mode and change it to screen with the pattern selected you can go to filter blur then gaussian blur then the level of the blurriness is not okay let's increase it let's increase the blurriness because of the how blur the background is let's increase the blurriness i think it's okay like this then we can hit okay 13.9 is okay then hit okay select the image go to pick selection tool and select subject the selection has been made you have to right click further with two then hit okay then select the pattern and hit our delete once and you can see then we can use our ctrl d to deselect then if you check it you notice that we have a different background entirely from what we normally have so let's see the before and after this is before and this is after this is before and this is after so amazing then let's check the next one this is before and this is after this is before this is after the other one this is this is before this is after this is before this is after then the last one the first one then this is before this is after this is before this is after isn't that amazing so friends check the description below download and enjoy that is it for this video if you find it interesting helpful and useful please make sure you leave a like and also leave a comment below telling us the area it has helped the area it has not and the area we need to improve on like i said earlier if you are new on this channel please do me a favor do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button not just hitting that subscribe button also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video thanks for watching today's video creative people keep on creating please stay creative keep on creating see you in the next one bye for now